So we are inside in one of our COVID testing laboratories right now. Um, we're actually inside a 40-foot shipping container, a high cube one. So our shipping container labs can be brought to any country, either via land or sea. So it's very convenient if you have a local outbreak, you can bring it really quickly there. And each single container can actually test 2,000 patients a day or 2,000 samples a day. So it's very convenient. And how it is, it's actually a linear workflow. So you always walk in here and then you have to go outside at the other end. So it's a tunnel container. So what happens on a normal day, you come inside. First thing what you do, you have to put your lab coat on. You put your personal belongings in here. And then you start at station A. So what is happening here is the patient samples come in the store and then you scan the patient samples so that they're in our system so you can track them throughout the whole process that you always know what the result is of each patient and then you start unpacking them and making sure that all the patient samples are okay. And then the next area is where you actually put them in a biosafety cabinet, what is this part, where it's very important to really securely work with the patient samples so that nobody could get infected. So you put it in a lysis buffer, what DN inactivates actually the virus, and then you plate it in a 96 well plate. So 86 patient samples will in every, be in every single run. And then from that station, you move actually to station B, what is our RNA extraction uh, area. There will be four robots similar to the one that you actually see here. And what is happening here is actually that you put the 96 well plate that you worked on in station A, put inside here, and then the robot will start its process with magnetic beads to extract the RNA. And then you will move from here, grab your 96 well plate again, and move into the next room. We have two more rooms now here. But it's very important that you never go in the other way. You always have to go in this direction to not cross-contaminate anything. In the next room, that 96 well plate will be replated and be prepared for the qPCR machine, but will be in the last room, but then analyzes if the RNA is present. If the RNA is present, you're positive. If there's no RNA present, you're actually negative. And then you walk out to the other side um, leave your lab coat and then start the whole process from the beginning again.